Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is Developing Toe Dragon Curve. This is another self-similar surface which comes from uh, the process by which you generate a fractal curve, in this case the Toe Dragon Curve, as the limit of a, a sequence of polygonal approximations to that curve. So the Toe Dragon Curve is closely related to the Dragon Curve, and so the uh, developing Toe Dragon Curve surface is closely related to the developing Dragon Curve surface. Uh, and again, the, the idea to realize this process as a surface is originally due to Jeffrey Irving. So with the developing dragon curve, you have a line segment that gets replaced by two line segments at right angles to each other, and then you repeat that process on each of these new line segments and so on. Uh, in contrast with the toe dragon curve, you have uh, each line segment gets replaced by three line segments. It's actually two steps down here. So it's a little hard to see because these are uh, smoothed off, but the, the line segments uh, follow a sort of zigzag pattern. So you go along here and then you turn 120 degrees to the right and then 120 degrees to the, to the left and then you repeat that on each of the new edges at the next level and so on. Now while you get a right angle here and so the sort of resulting curve has 90 degree right angles everywhere, uh, because there's a 120 degree angle here uh, you get these nice um, sort of triangular or hexagonal uh, pattern going on here. Um, another nice feature about uh, the toe dragon curve as opposed to the dragon curve is that it's 180 degrees uh, rotationally symmetric and so the, the surface as well is 100 and 180 degrees rotationally symmetric. Um, it's also uh, a space filling curve. If you continue this, you get this region of the plane that gets filled in with the curve. Um, now, you see that in, say, the, the Hilbert curve as well. If you repeat this enough times, it fills in the square. Um, but here you, you, you fill in a, a shape that has a, a fractal boundary rather than just a, um, a linear boundary to it. Um, there's one last thing to say about this is, the, is these extra bars here. Um, so again, this is one of the curves and then the next one is down here. Um, and so this is just sort of one of the interpolations between this curve and this curve. Now you sort of, you, you didn't have to put that in um, now we, we put this in, this bar in, and this bar in because um, the, the actual curves in the sequence. And you, you sort of, you can't make this height too short. If you try and make this shorter, the surface starts to buckle uh, because it's got sort of so much longer to go down here than it's up here. And so this window has to be quite, quite high. Uh, and without a, an extra bar across here, it sort of breaks up the visual continuity of the surface. So that's why, why this bar is here. So there we go, developing toe dragon curve.